So for today's adventures, I have a bunch of creatures that I want to go out, find, and tame. But before we do that, I wanted to head into this little cave right here where you can find a bunch of drops. Let me quickly just show you the coordinates. We are at, let me pull up the map as well, 45.6, 63.3, and it's right there. Let's head on in. So, of course, we can use our Desmodus in this cave, but don't try and bring an RG or anything else into here uh, because you will probably get thrown off immediately okay so last time we came in here i got rabies which is bad we don't like rabies but this time i'm hoping to try and just maybe lead the creatures off into the water and then for the bats i think maybe just like lead them into like a big group and then just kind of kite them around and then i can grab the drops afterwards because they're all just gonna come after me and i really i don't want to fight them that just sounds awful so let's try this real quick let me just see if we can get this done come on boys there we go. We got those ones following me. We got that one following me. We probably have some up here as well. We're getting the kills because I actually just hit that spider just a little bit. And that counts enough when, when they die inside the lava that it just gives you the kill for some reason, which is great. So I think I just landed on that bat by accident. Okay, let me try and... Oh, crap. I thought we were going to swoop a little bit further. We do have time for this, though. Grab that. Nice. Perfect. And let's go for this one next. Maybe, yeah, we should be good. We should be good. Provided that all these creatures up here are no longer here, which is great. Nice. Let's grab it. Perfect. And one more to go. So they're all yellow drops right now, but I do believe you can find some uh, purple ones in here as well. So yeah, I don't know. The loot in here is pretty good. It's not as good as the Aberration Cave, so I'll probably head there as well. But figured I'd do like a little raid in here, try and get some good stuff. We're getting a bunch of kills. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually great to be honest all you have to do is just damage them slightly and then you know be on your creature and your creature will get the kill which is awesome so there we go we got all those things without having to fight all the bats and contracting rabies <sighs> okay so the creatures that i do want to tame up today are an rg i want to go out and also look for some high level avas because you know my low level avas they're not cutting it they really aren't and uh also i've been holding off and breeding them because i do want to try and get some better avas so we can uh, maybe get some better Fjord Hawks actually as well. Because at some point I do want to try and do some Fjord Hawk mutations and stuff. But the only thing is, right? And this is this is weird. Let me let me show you. Let me show you. So uh, Fjord Hawks, let me throw it off my shoulder. They don't really, like, they, they don't attack things. They won't attack creatures at all. Which is so weird. Like, they will not fight anything. Even if you put them onto aggressive. This is the aggressive whistle. It's not attacking anything, right? How weird is that? Look, and it just got hit there and it's not doing anything so weird so they don't really take like i mean most creatures don't really seem to actually aggro it onto them as well i've thrown them down in front of rexes and stuff and they only want me they don't want the feared hawk so i don't know they're really strange creatures so they don't fight things and generally creatures don't go for them as well i don't know it's a weird little mechanic i suppose so I don't necessarily think that we need to tame a super high level one. I do at the same time think that we do probably need some pretty good health on it anyway. So yeah, let me actually, we're going to head on over to the volcano area, maybe get an Archie first. So let me just pop you away and grab out the Maywing so we can fast travel basically. Although we could teleport. I just, I prefer not to teleport. We can fly there much quicker. And uh, let's see, which direction are we going? This, this direction over here, right? Yeah, there it is. Perfect. So yeah, I don't know. Um, we're probably not really going to need a super amazing Fjord Hawk uh, like stack of stats because they don't attack things. Maybe their weight could be handy to to have leveled up because any like shoulder pet on like, I mean, anything that goes onto your shoulder, you can put items into that and it will half the weight of them. On a Sinnoh, it, uh, it, I think it takes like a quarter of their weight or something like that, which is amazing. But uh, yeah, every other one, it does half the weight. So just having high weight on it could be good, but the health as well. And that's really it. I don't think we really need anything else on these dudes. So yeah, we'll probably only just tame up a couple and just see if we can get some decent stats. But that's what the Ovis are for. Anyway, now we need to look for some RGs. Uh, we will go and look for the Ovis after. I just wanted to get an RG first. Hello, Giga. <laughs> okay, watch out for the lava. I have heard that the lava on this area is an instant kill, but I think people are saying it deals 200 damage per tick. So if you land in that, your, your character could easily die immediately. My character would only need to take like two hits by the lava to actually die because I only have like 400 health or something. So yeah, anyway. Now, the reason why I've come here to tame up some Argies is because, well, we have some pretty colors. I don't know. You can get some really nice ones here. It's kind of like a weird mechanic. I think they might have introduced it with... Here, let me just fly away from this dude. I think they introduced it with uh, the Lost Island or something, because I definitely noticed, although maybe it was Genesis Part 1, I definitely noticed that uh, on that map, if we came to the Volcano Island, we could find much crazier colors 
than anywhere else on the map. And I don't know. I think that there's some sort of weird little like color thing based on where they spawn. I don't know. It's pretty cool though. I really like that. So um, yeah, we're going to be coming here to tame up quite a lot of creatures that you can find elsewhere just for those cool colors. Now, where are the RGs? That's the only question. Uh, are they really only out front? Let me go see. Okay, let's go off in this direction. Although the trench is up ahead. Okay, yeah. We're getting very chaotic. We're kind of just going off and talking about everything. Anyway, guys, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Really does help me out. I do appreciate it. There's so many Rexes here as well. It's absolutely insane. All right, let me go off in this direction. So um, I do want to say I, I love to tame up some XRGs, but they only spawn on Jotunheim. And I don't want to try and go here or there today. Like... <laughs> It's going to be very difficult for me to survive there at this current time. I don't have Wyvern Milk to easily just survive, and I don't really... I don't have amazing fur and everything else that I could possibly need, and even if I did have that, we probably wouldn't survive because of the cold anyway. It is the coldest place on all of the arcs by far. And in fact, I think it's even colder than the coldest place on Earth as well. I think we discovered that during the modded series. But anyway, yeah, so... Ooh, <gasps> I almost landed into the lava there. Did you guys see that? Oh my god, that was so stupid. Wow, okay, I need to be careful. I, I'm being a little bit reckless here. We need to not do that right there. Where are the RGs? Spawn, where are they? Maybe up here? I don't even know. Oh, we got... What is that? Ah, oh, it's a Magnasaur. Damn it, I thought it was like an RG flying by or something. All right, well, anyway, yeah. I think I'll, uh, I'll find some RGs, and I'll just bring you guys back once we have a super high level one, hopefully. We'll see. Honestly, I thought they were a lot more common than this, but clearly they or not or else maybe they're dying constantly i have no idea Ooh, did i miss you earlier 66 damn it probably a good idea for me to go around killing all the low levels that i don't want see what i mean with these colors dude like oh that's a 174 oh that's really nice but i i, I can't i need to tame the rg first maybe we can come back for it but that is a really nice colored carno oh these things better not be high levels okay i don't think they are <laughs> good because uh yeah those magnosaurs are gonna eat them Although, you know what? Let me get in here and just help real quick. That one's dead. And that one is so beautiful, but it's now dead, unfortunately. It was a 108, though. I wasn't going to tame it. <gasps> Ooh, that's a wyvern over there. I wonder, can a Desmodus escape a wyvern? Is that possible? You know what? If I'm going to need to do that, I, I should probably drop all this spoiled meat. That is weighing me down by a ton. And we should probably get some stamina. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious if we can actually outrun a wyvern. Probably not. I mean... Maybe, you know, quickly just get away from them, but probably not in the long run. At nighttime, you could easily just go invisible and get in there and grab the eggs, though, which is kind of hilarious. Honestly, Desmodus are so broken. <laughs> they really are. I do like them, though. They're great. Look at that thorny dragon. Those are amazing colors. Oh, if only I wanted one. Oh, there we go. And a rune. Nice. Uh, okay. We gotta move it away from that Magmasaur. Let me go ahead and just pull its aggro real quick. Why is it flying towards the Magmasaur? Dude, that's a bad idea. No! What is wrong with you? What are you doing? Okay, please, follow me. What was wrong with you? This thing has brain worms. Maybe we shouldn't tame it. Like, why the hell was it doing that? It just literally wanted to die, I guess. I don't really understand. I have a bed right here. Yeah, there it is. That was from when we were here originally. Okay, I might be able to try and knock it out, like, right here. Maybe, possibly. Uh, we do have the nat gun. Oh, uh, crap. Okay, hang on. Let me see. Let me see. Come here, buddy. Where are you? There you are. Oh, stupid trees are in the way. And... Boom. Sweet. Okay. I'll just, uh, I'll net it up here. Maybe I can place my trap around it then. Could be a thing. And... Boom. Got you. Okay, let's just reload that, just so we have that ready. And I want to go ahead place these down around it um now the only issue is i don't know why i pulled that out the only issue is sometimes they do move a little bit when you when they come out of the net so we might have to re-trap it but there we go we got that ready perfect okay let me let me at least start doing this oh yeah no i didn't do that very well <laughs> that's okay oh uh, i can't shoot it there never mind maybe i could shoot its butt that might be possible Yes. Okay, great. Not a super amazing spot, but this whole island's kind of dangerous anyway. So, yeah, I don't really expect much. In fact, let me put you on passive just in case this thing escapes and attacks me. So, yeah, it's a really nice color as well. Actually, we got some purple on it, which is cool. We got some orange as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, much better than just a regular plain RG that you find just anywhere else. And it is still... What has happened there? Oh, there we go. 
What the hell just happened? That was super weird. Can I shoot through here? Yes, we can. Probably not for long, though, because Ark is weird. Anyway, let's get this thing knocked. <laughs> but did that, was that not like the exact same spot that I was shooting at? Okay, right here. Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get this thing knocked out and uh, hopefully try to tame it up right here. We need to grab... Oh, there we go. We need to grab some stuff for an elixir. But um, I do also have the obvious in my inventory we could just kill one in just a second here let me see i'm gonna have to grab some some creature kills here just to get that elixir ready so i think we'll go over here and just see if we can get some of these dudes killed because all my other elixirs did go ahead and just uh what the hell was that a galley or something oh it still said there's something here no it's gone um yeah all my other elixirs spoiled unfortunately which sucks but it is what it is come here Give me your blood. I need all of it. All right, sweet. We got our elixir. Very good. Um, oh, yeah. Let's grab this rune real quick as well. Completely forgot about that. How many is that now? We have 52. Okay. Let's see. The RG is starved. Not very much at all. Can eat like two pieces of mutton right now. Um, all right. Well, I think I'll probably have to maybe clear out this magma sword or something. I don't know how the hell we're going to kill that thing. That's only level 18. I could probably kill it, right? Maybe. We'll see. Uh, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> it's going to start doing the heat up thing, and then we got to move away. But besides that, I feel like we should be able to kill it. It's not even attacked me back right now, which is great. So, yeah, it's just a free kill. There we go. And you did. All right. Let me bludgeon you to death real quick. We'll leave that thing to tame up for a little bit. It's going to take a little while. Uh, not too long, but we can at least take this time... I should probably get rid of that corpse before something else comes over here. Let me go ahead and just harvest this thing. Nice. So yeah, we'll take this time and uh, and just maybe go off and look for some Alvis. Um, it is getting to nighttime, so I can actually use the, the night vision. Level 24, not good enough. 174, nice, okay. Let's grab this thing. Ooh, okay, I already landed. Don't really see anything around, so I might just quickly get it tamed. They, oh my god, that is such a harsh change. <laughs> we just go from being able to see things to like being able to see nothing. There we go. Nice. Okay, yeah. They oh my okay, yeah. <laughs> the night vision is cool and all, but like holy crap. The, it just goes directly from nothing to something. <laughs> and then from something to nothing. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, there we go. Um what what gender was that actually? I didn't even see where is it? Uh it's this female right here. Actually, that's good. So if we don't find a high level male, we can probably just use this one and keep reading until we get a male with the female stats, which would mean it's a high level. Cool. I guess we could do that, but I think I'm going to keep looking around because we're still waiting on this Archie. Hey, finally. Oh my God. All right. Oh, it's like right beside some bad stuff over here. Oh, so we also have the Archie tamed up. Check it out. It's got 52 points into its melee and the rest is pretty average. Although 52 points is high. It's not that high when it comes to a flyer because they don't have any points into movement speed. So it's basically instead of seven stats with all the points spread out, it's only six. So you're more likely to get higher stats on RGs and, and other flyers. But anyway, yeah. So that's our RG. It looks pretty amazing, actually. I quite like those colors. It would be great if this brown was like something better, maybe like a red or something, but it is what it is. I do like the purple and the little bit of orange on the, on the tips of the wings as well. Um, all right. Well, anyway, now we got to go ahead and uh, combine these two. And that one has quite high food. And this one has... Yeah, it has slightly higher health. I think what I'll just do is I'll get all the best stats into the two of them and then um we'll have really good office to feed to some feared hawks and just to use in general so here we go let me get them on breeding i think once we have some better office i i might actually go out and try and tame up a feared hawk because you know we have little harrison feared here i mean he's pretty cool but at some point you know mutations would be great so we're gonna need more of them wait what are you you're a male okay yeah so we will need a female and maybe also trying to get a higher quality male would be good as well because i think this one what did you come out with, actually? Let me check. So we came out with 79.3 on this. So we could do a whole lot better. Uh, I think having really, really good Avis would be great. So that's what we'll do. We'll probably just maybe try to get some all the best stats together and then try to level them a little bit somehow. I don't really know how we're going to do that besides just leaving them inside of a ball for probably like a couple hours but we'll see either way though um i'll catch you guys on the other side of all of this all right so we got all the best stats into these sheep right here and they've been inside of these balls for a couple hours so they should be able to be leveled just a little bit let's see how many levels eight it's not great eight is not good but 
you know what? There we go. Let's just pump him in anyway. Uh, I don't know what to pump it into. I'm just putting it into health. I, I don't know if that actually helps or anything. It's I know what it actually is to tame the Fjord Hawks. It's like their harvest health is sent. That's a Quetzal. Um, <laughs> not going to feed you to a Fjord Hawk there, buddy. Uh, but yeah, basically, you, you want something that yields a lot of resources. That's how you pretty much tame up these dudes. So sheep are obviously one of the creatures that just yield a crap ton of resources. Even low levels, you get all the mutton, and then you also get the hide, and then you also get the pelt. So you just get a lot of different stuff from these dudes. So I figured that they're one of the best. And uh, from experience, you know what? Even the low level ones that we had, they did some pretty good work on that other guy that we were taming. Now, I know that these birds spawn like all over the map now. Like, I think that their spawns initially were like a little bit limited. But um, yeah, this is like the area that I think I want to look for them in because it's relatively safe over here compared to other spots. So hopefully we can find some. I want to quickly just check out this little spot right here, which is just absolutely gorgeous. I think um, it was maybe the episode where we got the desmodus i can't remember which one it was but i mentioned how this spot right here is like a spot in um in iceland and it's like this beautiful place i can't pronounce the name but maybe i'll put it up on the screen right now uh but yeah check that out google that because it looks absolutely gorgeous it really truly does but um i i did find it very funny i've been getting constant comments from people saying like oh you're talking about the giant's causeway and i've been there guys it doesn't look this cool it like the giant's causeway is nice like i will admit it's really cool looking it's crazy to see those rocks like that irl that's a 168 let's tame that one yeah uh immediately nice okay let's bring you over here then bud but um yeah the giant's causeway is nice but like there's other spots like this in the world with these types of stone formations and they look so much cooler like giant's causeway is nice though it's not as op as the other ones um all right so is this thing how did how does the taming start i think it has to actually eat the thing to begin the taming so let's get a couple of us out here i'm not sure how many we're gonna need so let's just uh cycle through the little line of them here We'll get like, um, how many is that? We get like six of them out. So I think we'll just kill them slowly and just see how this goes. So first of all, uh, boom, we got that going. Let's get the elixir here. And then, all right, how much is that going to go by? There we go. We got the elixir on, which is great. And oh, let's get this other one slaughtered. Dude, give me the option. There we go. My God. All right. I'm not sure. Will we even need another one? He's freaking harvesting there for ages. Look at that. Okay. So we're, all, we're obviously just going to lose some anyway. Like, we're going to have to get something that will team it up instantly. And I'm pretty sure that they patched the uh, rock elemental. Oh, my God. Stop doing that. <laughs> so I think this guy is going to take five of them then, including the elixir. Uh, wait, actually, not five. Because, wait, what was it? Like, 20% I think we got on the first one. So then this should be uh, 70%, 90%, and then over 100% with this one here. So, yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. We are losing a good amount of effectiveness, though, but, like, I'm not sure what else we're supposed to feed. Like, I'm fairly certain that they did patch the uh, the rock elemental. I, I don't know. Maybe, like, a higher level one, but, like, any bite that he takes, he's just losing effectiveness anyway. All right. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I hate the way you have to get so, so close with these guys to actually slaughter. I guess I could have just used the S-plus gun, but still. All right. Well, we're not losing much effectiveness at this point. Okay, well, at least we're going to get a better one than our previous one. And it doesn't cost as many of us as well, which is great. Uh, is he eating? Oh, there we go. Okay. Is that going to get him up? It should, right? Yeah, hopefully. Come on, buddy. Eat it. There we go. Maybe two more bites. And tamed? Hey, okay. So what do we get? 83.7. How the hell do you get that higher? Can you even do that? That's also a male, so that's not exactly ideal, but it's okay. It's actually a nicer looking one as well, to be honest. Um, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like, how, how do we get, like, better effectiveness on that? Like, if the rock elemental thing is truly being patched, then I guess you can't really, right? I don't know. I don't know. I have 2.5 times taming on here, so... That should give you, like, a good idea of how to actually get these dudes up. But, yeah, once you have the elixir dropped, I mean, like, 30% on top without losing any effectiveness, you know, you're kind of golden then. Um, all right, well, let's see. Uh, let me... You know what? I'm going to use the Desmodus here because we're already over in this area, and it's going to allow me to find these dudes a little bit easier. If they're just floating around, I should be able to ping them. There we go. We got one right here. Is that another one, or is that something else? Oh, it's a Dillo. Hello. 
Yeah, we got one right over here, and you're at level 66, which I will kill because you're not needed. I think, like, the first hit on them, it just, like, zero damage for some reason. It's very strange, but then you have to hit them again and again to actually get the proper kill. Also, actually, I just realized we're going to need some more um, elixirs if we're going to be taming more of them. Actually, in fact, let me let me see. Did we get a good one? That one has... I mean, the melee is not really needed. It's got 41. Uh, okay, yeah. 41 onto the weight, 42 onto the health. Oh, that's interesting. They have points into f their uh, movement speed, even though they're, like, technically a flyer. I don't know if, um, if Dimorphodons and stuff have that. They might. Maybe they do. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we just got to try and look for some more of these dudes. I need to get a female. A high-level female is going to be essential. I can see a rune over there. And is that one of these guys or yes it is it's a level 24 it's nice looking but it is also mate boosted so that means there's another one here there it is i see it already uh oh, i can't okay i don't know where it went um oh now they're kind of around me all right it's that one right there nope can't see it all right i, I gotta get down at the same height and kind of like look up at it to try and see it oh my god we got like a bunch of them around here so we got level 24 i can't <laughs> Dude, okay, I'm just gonna lad. I'm just gonna lad because I'm not able to like spyglass that there, there's four of them now <laughs> Okay, we got a level 60 uh, Level 24 What are you also level 24 maybe or is that the same one? What's that one right there? I feel like I haven't seen this one yet. Where are you going buddy? Come here uh, Level 60 as well. Maybe I don't know. I don't know if I've like looked at the same ones I feel like there's just a bunch of level 60s and 24, so I'm comfortable killing them all. Are there more already? No, that one's a level 60. Dude, there's so many of them right here. What on earth? What one's that? Level 162? No, don't start eating. Did it already start? Oh, crap. This is technically taming, right? No? It didn't start. Maybe it's because I aggroed them? Okay, well, that's good. There's a 162 then. Which one is it, though? Dude, it's so hard. There's so many. Where are they all coming from? <laughs> They're just like spawning on top of me. Uh, which one's the 162? Is it that? What one are you? I think you're level 60, right? Yeah. So it's the other one. That one maybe. I don't know. It's so hard to tell. Now I think if I like aggro them and like bola them and stuff, then you know we're gonna have an issue with them running away from me. So probably not a good idea. Maybe what I'll do is, oh, you know what? We're actually gonna need some blood anyway. So I think I'll just move away and I'll come back over. And try and kill it in like a minute or something uh let me quickly go over here and grab this rune okay i think i got their attention maybe there's three of them now i'm not even sure where that last one came from we'll just uh we'll do it here we'll see if they want to come up here okay oh no my god where did they all come from what level is that let's see so we'll just put this onto the kill setting so dino and it's already on kill Oop. i'm gonna just put my dude onto passive okay we'll just do that and then we'll just murderize this little Back of them here okay well i want this 168 for sure so we put the elixir on you i need to actually grab another elixir boom that's a 108 i'm just gonna let it feed uh i'm gonna use the elixir on you as well uh we'll just yeah <laughs> it's such a mess but whatever this is gonna be fine <laughs> we have so many of them taming we've got okay yeah i want these two i guess i'll just track them all so i know where they all are look at them though <laughs> <laughs> They're just ripping them apart. Oh, man. Stop doing that. This is the most ridiculous taming ever. <laughs> like, the fact that we're actually having to just slaughter all the sheep to just try and tame up these dudes is ridiculous. Or at least we got the 168. Oh, did I just spook it? Oh, I think I did. I think I got too close. It just flew away. No, come back. 93... Point nine. Why did it just do that? I think I touched it. I think I got way too close and I like technically touched it. You know, like if you're passive taming, say like a Gigantopithecus and you actually bump against the creature, it will, um, it will essentially kind of like aggro on you, you know? So maybe I just did the exact same there by accident. Oops. Oh, he's back. Are you good though? You good, bro? He's still at the same? I think he is. Yeah. He might not have actually lost any there. I think I'll just keep my distance. Um, probably gonna need to kill like a couple more sheep. I'm not really sure. I don't want to overkill. We got that one. Nice. I think, yeah, we're gonna need one more. There we go. Let me just put these ones away. Okay, I think this one should tame up on this, but I might have to grab another one. Come on. 
Get tamed, bro. Hey, okay. We're good, we're good. Ah, all right, let's see. So they all tame up with the same effectiveness. The super low level is the one that I'm probably not even going to care about. So I think I'll, I'll just get rid of that one later. Um, these three. Okay, so this one here, which one was this? The 162 tamed up with 84%. I guess these two were 168s. Okay, yeah. So it tamed up slightly faster just because of its level. Um, okay, well, yeah, we, we didn't lose any effectiveness on that 168 that we just tamed. Whichever one that was. I think it would... I'm not sure exactly which one it was. But it doesn't really matter because uh, we still need a female. <laughs> I just keep getting males. Like, we, can we get some females? Can we get some ladies up in here? Like, what the hell? Can we... Uh, there was that other 168 that was a female, right? I don't know where it went, though. I still have, like, an almost dead office here. So, you know, we can, we can tame another, potentially. I should probably pick these guys up, though, just in case. Okay, so we probably don't have enough office left to actually tame up another... Feared Hawk. Because this is going to end out at uh, basically like 98. And then we're going to have, you know, just these two left. I'm pretty sure that's all my office. Oh, I have another one. Okay. I might potentially be able to tame up another, provided something doesn't eat the rest of that corpse. Because it's only going to take like a little nibble off of it. But I, yeah, I need a female. I just keep finding male ones. There we go. And then, yeah, here we go. It's going to basically tame immediately. Nice. All right. What did you come out with? Oh, no, no. Stop eating. No, no, no. You don't get to just continue eating. The buffet is closed. Um, okay. So that one tamed up with 83.3. So it's it's literally just based on how many bites they take, realistically. So maybe like a super, super high level office could tame it up a lot quicker. Because, you know, the, the ones that we tamed, I think, initially were like roughly around like level 80, 90-ish. These ones are over three times that level. And we're only having to use like just a couple of them. I don't know because the, the other ones that we had to use I think we used like literally almost 20 to tame up our first feared hawk so yeah I don't know man this is expensive it truly is uh we're gonna need to find that other one where the hell did it go though <laughs> there's just they're so small and they move so fast and that's not it there no okay yeah that's definitely not it we're good um yeah I don't know it's probably here somewhere I just I can't I can't find it there's a 180 feared hawk here Okay, I thought that might have been the 162. I have no idea where that one went. Okay, please tell me there's no more around here. I saw one over there a minute ago, but it was a low level. I was going to go over and kill it. Uh, is this thing following me? Okay, I need to get it to follow me. Hey, buddy. Hey, come on. Come on. Let's go up this direction. Okay, 180. Hmm. Do we have enough sheep to tame it, though? I might have to sacrifice something to it, which sounds bad, I know. But, I mean, I guess I could feed it a Fjordhawk, right? <laughs> Oh, crap. Wait, 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 wait. That alpha raptor is right beside my guys here. That's bad. I need that alpha raptor to not be here. Unless, is it trapped fully? Okay, I need I need to do something about this. I need this thing to not kill my sheep and to also not eat my sheep. And I think it's stuck, but I'm just going to keep doing this. I guess I can take a little headshot on it. Boom. Or maybe I can lead it away at this point. I think the feared hawk is actually eating from my guys over there. That's great. Ah, God damn it! I find a 180, and then I have to get distracted with the stupid Alpha Raptor right beside where we are. Stupid Alpha Raptor, get over here! Come on, just go, go do something else. I just want you to not be beside me while I'm doing stuff. <laughs> All right, I think that I, I'm pretty sure the 180 just took a nibble, right? No, it didn't. Okay, we're good. Is the Alpha Raptor still following? Doesn't look like it. All right, we could be golden. Where the hell is the 180 though? Is that it there? Nice. Okay. Well, it's going to start eating from the rest of that corpse. Let's go ahead and drop another couple sheep here. Let's drop the elixir. Boom. All right. So we're probably we're going to definitely get less than 17% on each here. Do I even have enough? I don't think I do, guys. I don't think I do. Yeah, I might have to give it some. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> You guys see what I just did? Ooh, I hit the wrong button. Um. Oh, crap. Do you see what I just did? That's, that's silly. No. That sucks. Yeah. When a creature pops out and you kill it way too quick like that, it just disappears. I'm really silly for doing it like that. I shouldn't have done that. 
I mean, we probably wouldn't have even got this thing fully tamed, would we? No, we wouldn't. We needed more sheep. God damn it, the stupid sheep. Can we just get more sheep? <laughs> uh, hmm. I mean, I could probably... Buddy. Buddy. No. I need, like, two more. Yeah. God damn it. Ah, that sucks. Okay. Um, great. All right. So, I think I'm going to just have to get home. I might be able to fly back out here and get it. I, where the hell did you come from? Are you the freaking 162? You're 66. They just appear. I don't know where they're coming from. There must be like a nest or something. I don't understand. All right. Well, anyway, is it dropping? I know it will drop. Is that 87.7? Great. Um, all right. So let me let me get home. Where the hell's my May wing? There it is on my hot bar. Ah, oh, that's so silly. I mean, I, I wouldn't have gotten it anyway, but I probably potentially could have sacrificed something to it. Maybe one of my feared hawks or something. I don't know. All right, so I have some baby avas here, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to feed these two because they're fully grown. They may be the perfect parents, but I, I have these two right here that I can use instead. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll use these and then just in case, I'll just bring some extra babies here. So I'm going to leave two females and one male. Oh, it actually might tame up on the baby. Nope. There we go. Had a feeling. <laughs> Could have fed another baby, but this is fine. Okay, yeah, so it's roughly going to tame up around the same as the other one. I guess I was just freaking out a little bit. All right, well, I'll just let you eat for a second then. So there we go. We have a female now, finally. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick you up. You don't, you don't need to eat the rest. It's a big meal. You've already had plenty. Okay, so that's our female, 44 points into health. Nice. Um, the weight-wise, what is our best one? 41 on this one. Uh, let me actually drop off... Harrison Fjord. Let me check. Get in your ball. There we go. Let me check all the stats. Okay, so our best weight is the 41 and our best health is 44. All the rest of the stats won't matter. They don't need melee because they don't attack. Um, all right, cool. Well, let's get back to base now. I want to actually breed these things and uh, just check out what little baby Fjord hawks look like. They're probably going to look really goofy. All right, so I just realized I should probably... Oh, those eggs look nice. Damn, that looks like a lot different than our usual eggs. You know what? I just realized I've seen that before. It's in the picture, right? It's in the picture for the, um, for the Fjord Hawk. That's cool, though. Nice. They got, like, their own little custom texture in the egg instead of, like, a different pattern. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, we need to get into the, the industrial tier temporarily at our little base here. Um, like I said, we're going to be working on a new base soon, so this is just going to sit here for the moment. It's fine. All right, let's uh, drop that down. I've got two air cons right here, so I'm just going to drop these down. Yeah, right there works. Okay, so maybe I'll have to... You know what? Let's let's hatch up one egg. I want to see what the babies look like. All right, here we go. Boom. Oh, <laughs> great. I should have turned this off. It just immediately picked them up. Oh, we, we actually could go with that. Yeah. We could go with that because we don't need the high melee, although they're not male and female. If they were, then that would be the perfect pair straight off the bat. I don't know. All right. Well, anyway, let me see what these little babies look like. Oh, my God. It's so tiny. Whoa. <laughs> it's like, oh, man, that is really, really small. I mean, like, I know it's obviously going to be small, but like, look at this little guy. Look at his little feetsies. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I really do. Let me just back away a little bit here. Get the whole thing in the picture. Yeah, there we go. Dude, that looks hilarious. I like how they um they just have like the little chicken legs. It looks it looks so cute. The head though, it, I got to say like the body is like very baby like, but the head just looks like a normal pure dog egg head like just slapped onto the actual baby, right? Am I the only one who thinks that? It looks weird, right? Oh, wow. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Do they not have, like, proper feathers on the back? I guess they're, like, a little bit bald. Dude, that's hilarious. Unless, is that, like, just the color? Oh, my God. Is that actually their skin? I think it might be. Weird. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. If that's their skin, then somebody could make a mod of the Feared Hawk where they just remove all the feathers, and it's, like, this weird little chicken thing. <laughs> Should, somebody somebody do that please that would be hilarious anyway any, yeah let's just like let's get back on topic uh yeah i don't know the head is very like adult like you know not gigantic eyes or anything it just like if i just showed you this you'd be like oh that's your feared hawk 
And I show you the rest and you're like, oh, what the hell? Its feet are in the ground now. Nice, it's, it's growing very slow, but there we go. Uh, that's cool. Let's uh, check you out then. Okay, well, I guess we're just, I don't know. Maybe I'll let that one grow up. We'll see. Are these, um, are these eggs getting picked up? That one's the new one. Okay, yeah. So we'll probably, yeah, we'll just have to keep breeding until we get all the best stats or, you know, just one that I'm going to settle for. So there we go. <laughs> Weird little baby feared hawk. I really wish that you could pick up the babies. I know that you can with the Maywing. In fact, let's put you into the Maywing's weird little milky mommy pouch. Does that not work? Is it not C? How do you pick them up again? Is it not C to pick up? What the hell? Maybe it's not working because it's too small? I don't know. That's very strange. What the hell? Okay, can I pick up the Ovis? Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because it's a flyer. That actually could be it. Um, yeah, I'm not able to pick it up. All right, well, we got little baby Alvis just growing up inside of the Maywing. <laughs> I love this. It's so strange looking. Let me hop up here. Ooh, there we go. Look at those little baby Alvis just chilling in there. I like this this uh, thing a lot. I mean, it would be great if we could get the, um, the baby feared hawk in there as well, though. That weird skin texture. All right, cool. Well, anyway, yeah, um... We're just gonna have to get all the best stats. I've been breeding for a while so I can actually get all of these stats into a perfect pair and I actually have two of the females with it, but I just finally got the male. It's in my pocket right now. But uh, I want to show you guys this, which is uh, obviously a blue mutation. I don't know, I, I'm kind of okay with this. It looks pretty cool. It's actually that glacial blue that we get quite a lot actually. Uh, and it's like around the eyes and it's like a little bit on the head there as well. But it's also like the skin too. So you can kind of see it through the feathers, which is pretty cool. So if it, if this thing had no feathers, it would just look like a weird little blue. I don't even know. <laughs> it would just look very strange and it would just be that blue color. But uh, yeah, the, the weird thing about this is it only has one mutation, but it almost looks like we have other colors in here as well. And I think it's probably like these are all the like parents right here. So it's not getting that color from any of these guys. So... I don't know. I think it's like just kind of the blue mixing with the rest of the colors. So that could be kind of interesting because um, I don't know. Sometimes when you get creatures, you know, they actually have like their own built in shades that add to the colors that, you know, you get mutated on those regions. So sometimes like a blue that could be the exact same color, like technically would look different on one creature to another, you know? So, um, yeah, I don't know. So I just kind of feel like maybe that blue is mixing with the feathers right here or something, and it's just changing it, but that is on region five. I also actually managed to get a turquoise mutation, but I can't locate it. So it's, uh, I think it's region three on this one. I don't see it anywhere. Like it's, it's not there as far as I'm concerned, by the way, what I'm not doing anything. This is just happening. <laughs> These guys are very strange. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but you can go like right up to them and you can like go right through them. It's very odd. I don't exactly know what that's all about. Are they on like cheat ghost or something? It's very strange. But anyway, yeah. So I think uh, this is our new little Harrison Fjord for the moment until we actually do some proper mutations. But so I'll, pro I'll probably end up doing that soon, I would imagine. I have quite a lot of the females right here just waiting. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that at some stage. But that's going to be it for today, guys. We're going to ditch our other Fjord Hawk. Let me go ahead and just chuck you away. This is our new best friend. Let me see. Yeah, I like that blue. That looks good. That looks really good, actually. Oh, I, I just really want to do the mutations and make a cool little, like, maybe blue or red or, or green RG. <laughs> or not RG, Fjord Hawk. That looks like one of my previous RGs. We're totally going to do that. Maybe let's make a red one. Maybe to just honor Chandra, which is a super old RG that I used to always make. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. I will catch you in the next one.